Oh, welcome! I am the Munchin King of the Century. The last few days, couple of days, I've got three requests, all for Do Come For Me by Nick Nitoli. I did the other day someone by Nick Nitoli. I haven't uploaded it yet because it's a bit difficult to edit because OBS, the file didn't, it got corrupted, so I'll have to figure out how I will um, edit that together. Um, the video footage of me is still there on my camera, but of the music, the lyric video, it's got corrupted. And I was pausing through the video, so it's not like it was just one, one full piece that I can just plop in. But anyway, anyway, hopefully this one will go better. Come for me. I enjoyed the message of uh, someone by Nick Nitoli. It was interesting and... Um, got you thinking a bit, which doesn't happen much on this channel, I must say. 51,000 views. I think he is... Oh, what did I do? I think this he is an independent creator. I don't think he has a, a label. I doubt it. He might do. But I think he is just a YouTube creator. Here we go. An official lyric video. Go. Understand that I might go crazy just like Michael Jackson, not Jordan, I can't- ah! This laptop again is driving me insane. Hang on. Well, first of all, this is the second song now he's mentioned or referenced to Michael Jackson. The first song I reacted to uh, someone also referenced Michael Jackson, so maybe this Nick Natoli has a bit of an obsession, as most people do, usually, uh, on both ends of the spectrum. But, uh, this is the second song he's mentioned him in a negative way, I must say. He can't gamble. Wait, I'm trying to wait for my laptop to... Quieten down. I guess he didn't like that reference. But uh, if you wish to donate, I need a new one. My PayPal is below. I'll be back when it's cooled. Ah, okay, I'm back. I had to wait a few minutes. Really annoying to me! Slows down everything. But uh, let's go. From five seconds in. Three, two, one. Go. Gamble my whole life, yo. I'm married to that crazy white bitch. That's that mother. Ah! Lisa Murray got a nasty fetish. Make you wonder who was getting piped up. Nick the totally know I'm hyped up. Got the what is happening? Got these niggas skirts hyped up. Ball came Wait. Lisa Murray, is he referencing uh, Michael Jackson's wife or is this a different Lisa Murray? She all he also referenced um Michelle Pfeiffer. Um, I'm not sure what he has against these people, to be honest, but, uh, maybe we will discover. I know Tiger is a rapper who sings about great profanities and vulgarities, but what, uh, I'm a bit... Is this just him uh, uh, throwing dirt on people, I wonder? Hmm. You know I am ready when they come for me. Does he, is he just picking battles with a random folk? Well, Tiger's alive. Michael Jackson's not alive. Michelle Pfeiffer and Lisa Marie are, but I, I'm just confused what's happening. It's like he what he's like a bully in a school ground trying to provoke everyone into a fight. I like this uh, background. It's got these snakes. There was also snakes in the last video, but it was more in the foreground. Is that his uh, emblem, his symbol, the snake? That would be very fitting for sure. No! Not the laptop again. Well, speaking of respect, I feel my respect for this guy has gone down since the last video. Uh, which was uh, someone. It's so different. 
in terms of uh, he seemed quite a fairly intelligent guy from that song. He portrayed himself in a very, um, I suppose, uh, a manner which makes you think about society and how people are acting and devoting themselves to brands and celebrity without being themselves. They're trying to be someone else. And here, so far, it just feels very cheap. It feels very, um... Just, just, just... Uh, very babyish. In immature, is what I was trying to think. So I don't know which song came first, someone or this one, but... I hope it was someone which was most recent, because otherwise he's really sort of, um deteriorated, I would say, in terms of this quali lyrical quality. Like they joking on some Zach Galifianakis I see where the lack and the hope is I just be the dope man in the fucking corner where the dope is You don't really gotta understand me George Lopez I'ma get straight to the bag, no emotions Record deals from Dr. Phil Gonna fuck the game up later So we just gonna ignore that bitch And let her think that she made it If it's new age, I hate it If it's counterculture, don't play it That real rap shit for us And that little nods for the ladies That bright yellow cowboy shit Got my eyebrows raising Since when did this get so who is he referencing here with the bright uh, yellow cowboy? I'm guessing this is an art of the guy, but I don't know who who this is. Maybe he said. My brows raising. Since when did this get so stage, man? Since when did this get on the stage, man? Since when is this what we playing? Since when did this get so played, man? We don't select these artists. They just pop up as our favorites. We still struggling with the names, man. We don't really know what to say, man. We so now he's getting a bit more, um, a bit more interesting. Uh, they just pop up as our favorite. So that's sort of referencing the last someone, pe the celebrity, the product, um, and how we don't have our own uh, self identity in a way. We are just fed who we're supposed to like, what we're supposed to believe. And what we're supposed to uh, enjoy and take in as a part of our lives. But uh, I don't know. The beginning of this song ruined a lot of it. The, if there's something, a message in this song. It's very muddled. Very dirtied up. He threw in a lot of mud on this grave. He buried the message and he's now burying it to you. We just see them one day like, hey man, then they go on the next like a wave camp. It's kind of like a first date, man. We just trying to figure out what they making. We don't like them, we don't really feel them, so the spot is always fucking left vacant. Y'all know I'm here just to take shit. Y'all know I'm here to kill the fake shit. Y'all know I can't stop complaining. Hands all up in my fucking face, man. Like, whoa, none of them sound good when they fucking rap, though. This is a competition, I'ma treat it like a track, though. Yeah, I run fast like I'm running on the track, oh. Yeah, girl, freak, I'ma hit it from the back, though. <gasps> Damn, I'm running out of my breath. Give me all the I will say he is a good rapper for sure he has speed he has a uh, conviction in himself when he sings and you need good confidence to be a rapper I feel because uh, they all about their attitude all about their their rhythm and uh, how hard you can hit you and it's always a competition it seems I like this uh, green swampy th gooey thing. Swamp Thing is on Amazon Prime now and I never realized. I have Amazon but I never haven't logged in for ages and I did recently and I saw it. I might do a review of those episodes on my review channel link below. Haven't uploaded there in ages so might as well give it a go. Really nice art. I wonder who does the art for their channel. I might borrow you. Here we go. Of my life so y'all can worship more death and it feels like what? I'm sure there's a, a message in this song, but to me this one feels a lot more self-serving. Um, a lot more bitter, a lot more arrogant. Uh, the last one, someone felt um, 
more sincere. It felt there was still some sort of grit to it, um, some attitude to it, but it felt more real than this. That felt more like convincing than this. I don't know what you are on, but it's definitely not cauliflower. Nick Nitoli, come for me. There's his Instagram. There's his Facebook. There's his website. So is this him then on the cover? Is that a cartoon of himself? Because it sounded like it in the in the rap. It sounded like he was referencing somebody else. Um, but I don't know. Give me context if you so desire. That was uh, that was interesting. He knows how to rap. Um, I definitely prefer someone over come for me. Um, but I'm sure. Like I said, I'm sure there was something in there he was trying to get across, which didn't so effectively as last time. But I don't think the message is meant to be all that different from the last one either. I think it's supposed to be a pretty similar vibe to it. Um, that is my reaction to you. Do you hate me? I hope you do. To you! However, I am at a crossroads in my life and I hope you stay to you. To me! For sure. Farewell, my munchins. Take care, my munchins. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Thank you.